This is Trade Flow News, bringing you relevant news and insights from around the world. Trade Flow News, enabling trade for SMEs and economies worldwide. These are some of the key topics that we will be looking into in today's program. First, let's take a look at the overnight headlines which are impacting the commodity markets. Oil prices steadied on Tuesday after sliding in the previous session, as markets weighed Middle East tensions against demand worries and rising OPEC supply. Brent crude futures rose 17 cents, or 0.2 percent, to $76.29 a barrel at 0707 GMT while U.S. West Texas intermediate crude futures inched up 0.1 percent, or 5 cents, to $70.82 a barrel. The benchmarks had fallen over 3 percent and 4 percent respectively on Monday on sharp price cuts by top exporter Saudi Arabia and a rise in OPEC output. Oil prices steadied on Tuesday after sliding in the previous session, as markets weighed Middle East tensions against demand worries and rising OPEC supply. Brent crude futures rose 17 cents, or 0.2 percent, to $76.29 a barrel at 0707 GMT, while U.S. West Texas intermediate crude futures inched up 0.1 percent, or 5 cents, to $70.82 a barrel. The benchmarks had fallen over 3 percent and 4 percent respectively on Monday on sharp price cuts by top exporter Saudi Arabia and a rise in OPEC output. Moving on to the top news in the energy sector. Oil and fuel tanker traffic in the Red Sea was stable in December, even though many container ships have rerouted due to attacks by Iran-aligned Houthi militants, a Reuters analysis of vessel tracking data showed. The attacks have driven up shipping costs sharply along with insurance premiums, but have had less impact than feared on oil flows, with shippers continuing to use the key east-west passage. The Houthis, who have said they are targeting Israel-bound vessels, have largely attacked non-petroleum goods shipments. The added costs have not made a big difference to most shippers so far because the Red Sea remains much more affordable than sending cargo around Africa. Also, increased shipping costs are likely to boost exports of U.S. crude to some European buyers, experts said. China's crude oil production rose to 208 million metric tons in 2023, equivalent to 4.16 million barrels per day, state broadcaster CCTV said on Tuesday. The figure, which according to Reuters calculations is a 1.6% increase on 2022 output levels, represents an anticipated slowdown in production growth, as China's national oil companies are pushed to tap deeper, more challenging reserves to boost production. China's domestic oil production averaged 2% annual growth between 2018 and 2022, Reuters records show, as Beijing has sought to step up output amid an energy security drive. Next, we have the top news in metal markets. The discount for the cash copper contract against the benchmark three-month contract on the London Metal Exchange, LME, hit $107 a metric ton on Monday, the highest since September 1992. Expectations of ample supplies of copper on the LME market are behind the large discount or contango, a feature of the market for many months now. Stocks of copper, used widely in the power and construction industries, in LME approved warehouses at 161,725 metric tons are up nearly 200% since July last year. China's Dalian Commodity Exchange, DCE, has excluded iron ore, coking coal and coke from its latest waivers on commission fees, according to traders in a state-backed media report, a move market players say could be aimed at reining in speculation. The exchange said on Friday it would waive or reduce some commission fees market participants incur in executing transactions and other processes from January 9 to the end of the year, without specifying the products affected. The DCE on Monday sent out another notice to members saying the waiver will exclude iron ore, coking coal and coke futures, according to one futures broker who received the notice and a report by a news agency associated with state-owned newspaper Securities Times. We will now look at the top news in the agricultural sector. Chicago soybean and corn futures steadied on Tuesday after falling oil prices and improved crop conditions in major producer Brazil dragged them to multi-year lows in the previous trading session. Wheat futures also rose slightly after a sharp drop on Monday. The most active soybean contract on the Chicago Board of Trade, CBOT, 
was up 0.3% at $12.49 minus three quarters a bushel by 0333 GMT after slumping to $12.36 on Monday, its lowest since December 2021. CBOT corn dipped 0.1% to $4.54 minus three quarters a bushel after reaching $4.52 on Monday, the lowest since December 2020. That is all for today's news on commodity markets. Stay tuned to Trade Flow News as we continue to provide you with more updates. We also invite you to follow us on Twitter at Trade Flow News, which allows you to watch our program on your mobile device or desktop to receive information from there.